Welcome to another installment of Let's Hang Out. Do you mind if I paint? I'm your host, Dan Wilcox. I'm going to show you putting liquid white on the canvas again. This will be its own video, and I'm going to do uh, right after that. This will be the canvas prep for uh, Path by Still Water. And you say, Dan, why on earth are you doing another video about putting liquid white on the canvas? Well, it's that important. Um, practice this, get this right. Um, I actually struggle with this quite a bit. I put, uh, for a while, put way too much on and then got went to the other end of the spectrum, put way too little, and getting that uh, Goldilocks amount on there really does just set your painting up for great success. So I've just taken a one-inch brush, dipped that straight into a jar of liquid white, and now I'm just going to put some dots around the canvas, tie those dots together, and get the exact right amount of coverage. So just put some dots around. That just makes it super easy to use some crisscross strokes here. Think of these as figure eights or maybe the infinity symbol. And even though I'm going fast, I'm not pressing hard. So practice this. You'll get up to speed. It's worth taking a few minutes to get the application the right amount here. And you can probably see that my canvas wasn't white to start with because these canvases come from Bob Ross. No diss to the ones you get from uh, Hobby Lobby's or Michael's or Joann's or any supply place like that. But when they're just primed white, um, most of those are great for practice. Uh, the brace bars in the back are not as thick. The canvas isn't quite the same quality. And I gotta tell you, having these as simple as just primed with gray to start with, so you can really see where this liquid white is going. Absolutely, absolutely sets you up for success. At least I like them. I've got a lot of products that I have used as a certified Bob Ross instructor. I get these directly from Bob Ross Inc. and have them listed for sale on my website. I don't do the canvases though. I would rather you went directly to bobross.com and just get them directly from there. So you saw me pick up a couple extra dots there. Just wanted to pull this in. It looks like I'm gonna need just a skosh more. Be real slow to add any, because you're gonna get some of this moved around. And once you have some on there, it does not take much. Then you can see there's still a few lighter and darker areas. At least I hope you can see that. I'll check the video. Now I'm just going to do some long horizontal all the way up and down, starting from outside the canvas all the way, now all the way across. And don't just go flinging wildly here. I'm not pushing hard just because I'm going fast. You kind of get some practice under your belt and you'll get used to just getting the tips of those bristles to make good contact with the canvas. And that's just about got it. Let's do a quick check. Take a clean, dry hand. Give a good press in the middle. Oh, there's a good example. I hope that's getting in focus there on the camera. You can still see the lines of my fingerprint, but the whole pad is covered with white. And that's what we want. You still need to be able to see your fingerprint, because if you can't, and it's just all white paint, that's too much. You're going to really uh, see your colors kind of mush out and some cases might turn to mud on you, but certainly won't keep the brightness that you're looking for. You don't really have to go back and paint over your fingerprints. I mean, your fingerprints are going to be this painting. It's your painting. <laughs> I love to take a clean, dry paper towel and just do this before I get started because if I had any puddles of extra, that will pick that up. If I had anything missing, that would be taken care of. And just that perfect, right moist, that canvas is now slick and wet and ready to go. So I hope Liquid White has helped you. Practice Liquid White. It's worth the time and a couple of minutes to get it right. And I'll see you on the next video where we're going to do uh, Path by Still Water.